okay so here we are this is our texture I've made some adjustments to uh, these textures generated from uh, Dido of course I've added some additional scratches and some some small updates to this texture so you can see I was working in Maya with this uh, flat lighting it's better for editing just the albedo texture because it's uh, without any kind of shading so right now you can see we still don't have uh, textures for the other parts because they are on the separate textures so let's hide them right now and we will be working still on this main weapon texture so one more thing I want to show you is a small trick you can see when we zoom out this weapon we have this wi these wide lines and this is because when we zoom out our texture resolution is smaller and some of the sections between our textures are appearing in these places so we have to fix this because this looks really ugly when the weapon is uh, far away so this is uh, there is a one easy way to do this we can just go to albedo and change the color to some darker color similar to the colors of the weapon but let's do this more advanced uh, method we want to create something like a delation so to do this let's select all the layers uh, all the masks I mean a control shift and just select all the masks and this way we've selected our texture create new layer we can put it on the top and we can fill it with a white color for example right now I would like to open a albedo texture but of course I want to open a targa file which is one layer uh, and one more thing before we will do this we want to turn off the dust on our layer because I don't want dust right now and let's save it again as a targa okay so right now we can open this targa file without any dust so we've opened the targa file without any dust let's duplicate this mask that we've created like this and this is just because I want to select all the space between uh, between this of course I can go with the magic wand and do it like this but I, I don't have selected right now you can see for example these spaces between uh, some parts so I rather will use a mask it's more a safe way to do things <coughs> uh, so I will control click on the map on the this layer to select all the pixels and what I will do I want to change this selection and I will use a contract and I will set it to 2 pixels for example and let's turn it off and 
go to a base layer and click just delete. Mm -hmm. And of course we have to inverse our uh, selection and right now we can click delete. We want to delete all the space between our parts. And right now we will use a magic X normal deletion option which will uh, fill this space between and you can just set the radius and click do it. So what X normal was doing is is just taking the pixels on the uh, border of the part of the texture and is uh, duplicating these values and expanding them. So something like this. Of course we have some transparent space and we can fill this space just with some a basic color like this and let's merge it. So something like this we can copy and paste on the bottom of the our albedo so you can see it will nicely fill all this this empty space on our texture. We can of course turn on our dust or off Let's save our texture. Uh -huh, we can't save because it's open already. So click no. And this one will save. And let's save it right now. And let's preview. So you can see all these white lines disappear of course our dust disappeared too right now but we wanted just to get rid of this these white lines we can turn the dust see if everything works with the dust so I'm happy with this result of course uh, the best way will be to do this deletion process on the old texture maybe on the gloss because there might be some issues with this or just changing the background color for most simple scenarios will do the job.